Hi guys, welcome back to the channeling. This is Linda, AKA the modeling chick. And my next project um, is gonna be a little bit different. I'm not gonna tell you what I'm totally doing, but what I am doing that I can tell you right now is I'm redoing my Scooby-Doo van. So I really liked Scooby-Doo when I was a kid. Um, and I really liked this model when I found it. What I didn't like is that the decals aren't decals. They're actually stickers. So I'm going to show you some pictures at the end of this video to show you that the decals slash stickers never really stuck. So basically, even though I love this this van and I think it's the cutest little thing, I got to redo it. So I've taken everything apart. And what I did is I've taken off all the stickers. And what I had to do, because <laughs> when I say they didn't stick well, it, they didn't stick well, all of them different parts of them stuck too well and like the edges would flap up. You'll see when I, when I do the pictures, but I had to take um, a heat gun that Rue had from his um, RC stuff. And I had to use the heat gun to like heat it up a bit. And then what I did is once I got all of the actual sticker part off, some of the sticky stayed behind. So I took some spray alcohol, put it on a cloth, and then I wiped them. So um, after that, I used a very fine sandpaper and I used also some, um, a, like a sanding, it's like sandpaper, but it's kind of a foamy kind. And I can tell you right now that um, it's just so smooth. Like I, it got all of the sticker off. So that's exciting to me. Um, I'm going to redo this van. It was a little, the only thing I couldn't take apart is the, the dash wouldn't come off. Um, I'm afraid I'm going to break it. I should say if I take it off. So I'm going to figure out a way to paint the interior without the dash, um, being taken off. I mean, I'll probably mask it out or what have you. And Scooby's butt got, uh, stuck. I must've glued it in because he probably wasn't sitting right. So I'm going to have to sand, sand that part down over here. Um, I'm probably going to still use Shaggy, but I don't think I'm going to use Scooby. And actually, I just realized this is the sanding um, like foam that I used, um, which helps to make it kind of scratches it so that the paint will adhere, because I'm going to be painting it. And it also um, it doesn't scratch it real bad. So... That's what I used. I used this fine um, 2000 grit sandpaper as well. So if you want to know what I'm going to do uh, for the project altogether, you're going to have to stay tuned and watch another episode once I get it going. And I'll definitely um, share that with you. But for now, um, this is my next project. I'm still working on my monster truck and I'll probably have a video out on that before I complete uh, the Scooby-Doo van. So stay tuned for both of those finished projects. But also if you stay tuned on this video, you'll see the pictures of what the Scooby-Doo van looked like to begin with and you'll see why I redid it. And I do just want to add, this was one of the first models that I did um, I think I did it in COVID because I think that's when I bought the kit. Uh, we saw it in a store and I just thought it was the cutest thing, especially where it had Scooby, Scooby right there. Um, and it had Shaggy. And I thought that that made it kind of neat too. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.